Hey everyone, it's Lori and I'm here to do a Oracle message for you today. I haven't done one in a couple days and I do have a few minutes, so I'm going to try to get this in here for you um, while I have a minute before going back to packing. I'm icing my knee while I do this, so I figured that's a good thing, right? Kill two birds with one stone. Oh, what a terrible saying. Get two things done at the same time. There we go. All right. Let's see what your overall oracle message is going to be. Grace. I love this. Absolutely love this. And it says, you graciously accept the infinite love of the universe. Okay, so you can say that to yourself to keep and maintain your own personal grace. I graciously accept the infinite love of the universe. Now I do hear soulmate. Somebody's seeking a soulmate. Somebody who is like them. You're going to see it reflected back to you. Your grace, your divinity. You're about to meet somebody that's going to be good for you. Let's see what the book says about this. I haven't referred to the book for these cards in a while. FG. Let's see. Grace. It says the card meaning is be gracious and understanding with yourself. Your angels, guides, and spiritual guardians are watching over you, and they are cherishing you, and they are taking care of you, protecting you. So kindly honor the reality of others. Your soul wants you to know that there's a spiritual nobility that accompanies true grace. Even if you absolutely know that your opinion or your thought or your action is right, sometimes it just makes more sense not to push the point, but to let it drop. It's not that important, okay? If it's not a matter of life and death, it's just not that important. And you cannot change somebody else's mind if they do not want to have their mind changed. Remember that. So let it drop, okay? The creator knows the truth of the situation, even if other people do not. There are times to be starkly honest, but this may not be one of them. Hear the truth that others tell you without the overlay of your own opinions. Oh, this is so crucial. Somebody I feel like just did this to you, okay? Some, you may have opened yourself up, spoken a truth, and somebody kind of had their own idea of who you were, what you were gonna say, and they didn't hear at all. And you just had to gracefully accept that it didn't matter to let it drop. Oh, okay. So always speak with love, kindness, kindness and diplomacy be kind to yourself and cherish the path that you are on okay so that's important i'm going to get you three yes or no answers here today we will use the uh oracle cards so let's go ahead and see what your first yes or no answer is i just looked up at the timer and it was 303 so like-minded i feel there is a soulmate energy coming in here for some of you in the form of a friend, a lover, um, even a family member that maybe you've been on the outs with is all of a sudden going to be like, you guys are just clicking. Like everything makes sense and you're back laughing, having fun. All right. And it may be because you just let that situation go. And you know, it could have been that that person too was distracted. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. So always handling things with grace, if we can, is the best way to go. Yes or no? What is your first yes or no message? Now, these readings are for everyone, okay? I have a Libra Collective that I absolutely love and adore, but these Oracle messages are meant for anyone that they resonate with. All right, so this is a no answer, but... There is a rainbow of excitement on its way to you. You just got this card the other day, didn't you? The longer you have to wait for this excitement, okay, the more your enthusiasm is going to build. So handle things with grace. Be patient because very soon you are going to be immersed in this new reality. Things are about to develop quickly, bringing you amazing experiences and most of them are going to be happy patience and grace are the father of good character okay so just be patient with yourself and with others and wonderful things are going to come in here for you my hand is itching like crazy on the side and it feels like it's important it almost feels like someone's calling my attention 
All right, so the how this uh, excitement is going to come to you, what's coming, it says, strange vibrations are going to enter your life, but not without some sort of clarity. So it's going to feel weird. Oh my gosh, kind of like that itching. But it will bring understanding. Since this type of energy can lead to innovative thoughts and ideas and actions, you will be charged with unprecedented energy. So in a short period of time, you are going to be filled with an uncompromising desire to successfully implement all of your plans. Like you just get in this flow and things just keep happening, but you have to wait for that first energy to come in here, okay? That first action has to come in. Let's see what your spirit animal message is going to be. Today it is going to be a small card spirit animal message. Let's see what we have here for you. We have polar bear and a hummingbird. Okay, so we have the grounding energy, earth energy of the polar bear, which is the mystic. And it says, know that the challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face your adversities. Take time to rest dream and renew your strength and be sure to embrace your psychic ab ability so trust in your intuition because you carry the shaman within the shaman sorry okay there's that card and then you have hummingbird which is miracles i love this you bring joy to everyone around you you bless the world with positivity and love Energy soars on your shining wings and spread the miracle of happiness, okay? So miracles are coming to you, but you're spreading the happiness due to that. Beautiful messages there. Woof. Miracles are on your wings. So I'm, I'm hearing you should expect something unexpected. And there's this rainbow of excitement that's on its way with some sort of strange vibration. Your second yes or no answer is a yes. And it says here, get ready for a series of amazing events. They come out of nowhere, but the result is what is going to make your life absolutely rich and unique. Your special vibrations, your own vibrations are going to attract these special events. All right, this is how it's always worked for you. When you get in that high vibration, these beautiful things just work in your favor. All right, so you can expect oh, strange vibrations, but some amazing events. They're heading to you. Let's find out how or when. Well, we know part of it is that you have to get yourself in a positive energy. You're flying high, you're happy, you're not worrying about something. And boom, that's when it comes in for you. The first of, the, of them. All right, so it says here, in two to six months, brilliant idea is going to come to you out of the clear blue sky. <laughs> it says right here in your yes answer, they come from nowhere, okay? So out of the clear blue sky. As usual, this releases a flood of amazing events and experiences <laughs> you will be gifted with an unparalleled sense of universal support i love that this is how brilliant ideas seem to come from nowhere in the first place and it literally says comes from nowhere on the other card this is incredible i love this for you Let's go ahead and see what your astrology card is going to be. Yeah, this is going to be the last oracle message I do for a couple of days because these are going to be packed away until I get moved and settled in. And yeah, all right. So in case you are new here, I am Lori and I am in the process of relocating from this place that I'm in currently two hours away from where I currently live. So, um, I'm recording a little bit ahead of time, which does not matter with tarot. Tarot is fluid, okay? So, when you're hearing the message, that's when it's meant to hit you. That's when it's meant to resonate with you. All right. So, I'm doing these ahead of time. And uh, 
This is for Thursday, which will be my moving day. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we have here for your astrology message. So thank you for the patience. Um, to all of my viewers who come back repeatedly and all you new people, I hope you keep coming back in the future. Things are going to be a little different once I get settled into my new place. All right. Let's see what we have here. Who popped into this message? The Libra energy. All right. It's all about consideration, fairness, and harmony, balance, the scales. Something about justice is blind, but also grace. That's where grace comes from is that Libra energy, that air energy of fairness, of considering other people's emotions, feelings. Beautiful. There might be some sort of message here for some of you about spiritual growth in your ninth house. Now, I'm doing this for all signs, so I can't focus on just Libra's ninth house. Um, if you have Libra in your ninth house, that is specifically a message for you. All right, let's go ahead and get you your third and final yes or no answer. I will continue with Oracle messages. Answer number three, yes or no, is a no. But it says, sweet victory. Mountains that stood in your way of your goals are falling apart. They're crumbling. All resources must be called into use right now. That's the magician energy. This situation is still going to require some sort of perseverance and your ability to stay ahead of the problems, okay? This is the foundation for your success, all right? So stay ahead of your problems. It is the foundation of your future success. So be grace, be um, count on those miracles, be the mystic, okay? Understand that every challenge you go through makes you stronger, just like that song says. What at what? Doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. You know, one of my favorite sayings. All right. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you wiser, makes you stronger, makes you more competent and capable and understanding and open-minded. It does a lot of things. Yeah. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we have here. So your answer was a no. And it says this situation becomes unpredictable and will develop slowly. It may take seven to eight weeks. When ideas for a new beginning appear to you, your extraordinary ability to be assertive and keep your stamina can turn the tide. Okay, so perseverance here provides you with the outcome that you desire. So you will have to persevere. You will have to be stronger. You will have to get through these situations. I love that confirmation there for you. Let's get you an angel oracle um, number. Look at that, 4444 blessings in disguise. What is it? A challenge, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, okay? That's a blessing in disguise. We don't see it for what it is at the time. We look at it as a challenge, as a difficulty. I have to show you the two cards that I could see. 999 and then 9999, okay? Lessons that are learned and releasing those things, okay? Not holding on to them, but taking the wisdom from them. Incredible message here. Incredible message. All right. Don't forget to tickle tap or zap that like button. Claim this in the comments if it's your message. Let's see what else we have here for you. Let's see what angel oracle number is going to come out here. Oh my gosh, Libras, look at this, 2323, but it fits this oracle message for everyone. Endless cycles, the little changes, the challenges that we have to overcome. Okay, so 23 and 23, five and five, little changes. But it's about those endless cycles that we go through until we finally go, ha, oh, and the light bulb goes off and we realize we don't have to carry this burden anymore, right? 
So there's something about you using your charisma, persevering, going forward, communicating clearly, working with others. There is something about working with others, okay? But it, you also have this grace card where you accept the infinite love of the universe. All right, so this could be a spiritual journey. I know I saw that on um, that House 9 card in the astrology deck. This is about repetitive circumstances and the patterns in life that we need to break. All right, so there's some truth that you have been resistant to accepting over and over again until you have reached the point where you are tired and restrained beyond depression. This takes a decision to live life for yourself. You have to decide for yourself. You're the only one who can live your life, okay? Find your passion because life is all about your desires, your passions. Once you find that and you make a change, okay, then the world around you will follow. Beautiful. 23, 23. In case I didn't hold that up. B-E-A-U-T-F-U-L. All right, I got to finish this up because I don't have all day, but I love doing these messages for you guys. Let's get you an enchanted map oracle message. I'm going to get a hidden truth I just heard, too. All right, let's see what's going to come out here in the Enchanted Map Oracle card. That's about 10 cards, so we'll put those back and we'll get one. There it is. Whoop, mayonnaise. Whoop, mayonnaise. Drop a comment. Just put a hands up, a thumbs up if you know what I'm referring to. Look at this. It's another five. And what is this about? It's the goblins. It's about those things that hold us back. Those thoughts, those little things, okay, that hold us back. They always become bigger and bigger when we um, have them in the dark at night. Just like a fever will grow um, much worse during the night. But as soon as dawn breaks, so does the fever, okay? So there's something there about facing your goblins. Don't let things grow out of um, proportion, the book says here from Colette Baron reed fear is an illusion. It is just thoughts. That's all that fear is. There is nothing in your fear that is real, okay? So choose grace, choose love, choose to forgive yourself and others, and do not let your fears control you. Goblins are born when you are hurt or something essential feels like you have lost it in an, in an experience or situation. After that, you forget your wholeness, okay? And the goblins remain with you in the shadows. There they remind you of what brought them into being, okay? They mimic your voice. They trick you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. Again, these goblins are not real, Fear is not real. It's just thoughts. And we can change our thoughts, can't we? All right, so if goblins are paying you a visit, understand that they only represent the shadow of your own self or possibly someone else's, but it's usually your own. And that they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation. You don't want to react. You always want to respond. When this card appears, it is an opportunity for growth, but however, and a signal that you must love yourself first, okay? No human is without faults. Not a single one is without flaws. We all have them. The goblins me uh, message here is that you must release any resent resentments or negative self-talk or your fear. Just let it go. Within you is the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help heal you. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of the negativity, okay? Look at that hummingbird card there with a the word, miracles, right on it. All right, so that was big con time confirmation. Let's get you your hidden truth. I'm surprised I didn't forget that. Because spirit just called me back to it again. 
Let's see what hidden truth is going to come out here for you guys today. Really? It's like it's going one by one card. <laughs> oh. It's doing it again. <laughs> there we go. That was weird. That doesn't usually happen to me where it's just like each individual card gets touched. All right, so what have we got here? Got a whole book out of sorts here. I want to be more than friends. So somebody has a lot of feelings for you, okay? But I'm also getting that this does not necessarily have to be about romantic um a, um, it can be about a romantic relationship, but what I'm hearing and feeling and, and seeing right now are two people where one person feels like they are not in as much control as the other person, okay? So it says here, I want to be more than friends. But they want to be equals. They want to be your, your equal, okay? And this says that somebody left you before you could leave them. So again, like they pulled back their energy and it, things have been out of balance and you are probably, uh, I feel like it's you that has done that pulling back, okay? And you probably want to be equal partners with somebody and somebody around you doesn't realize that they're being a little bit domineering, um, over controlling and you've pulled your energy back. That's how you've decided to do it. You think that's the graceful way, which it is, but you have to speak up for yourself too, okay? So you have to acknowledge if you want to be treated with respect and as an equal, then you have to act as one and you have to respect yourself first and stand up for that because otherwise this person's just going to keep going in the energy that they are already in. It's like you've accepted it. So stand up for it, okay? You can do that gracefully with consideration, fairness, and harmony, like a Libra, okay? Whether you're a Libra or not. Some of you do need to just let go, okay? It says we need to let go of each other instead of trying to control each other or the situation or whatever. Let it go, okay? Just And you're they're waiting on you. You're waiting on them to give you a signal that things will be okay, okay? So... It looks like there's something that needs to be worked on here. And the first step towards fixing something is to speak up from a place of compassion and express how you feel, what you need. Okay, don't accuse the other person of anything. Talk about what you need, what you want, how you would like things to be. All right. I'm hearing blessings again. Yay. More blessings. I just had the weirdest prompt from spirit. You're going to get you. There's something about a month. A particular something's happening in a special month here. And maybe we'll use those to help clarify it. All right, let's get your blessings. Why do I only have these few? Hmm. We're going with what we have. Look at that. It literally turned over. I don't know how they do that. Hammock, taking a vacation. This could be an actual physical vacation, or it could just be a mental break. Taking time away from something, okay? Getting a different perspective of something. Letting it be, just going with the flow. Giving it a rest is what I'm hearing. Giving it a rest, taking a break. All right, look at that four-leaf clover. Great, good fortune is coming your way. I heard Cleveland and Glover just came out. Um, way over here. Hello, way over here. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> 
I got to point this out. The first card that came out was Lily, spiritual love. So there is definitely some sort of spiritual awakening happening here. So Lily, your name is being called out here. Libras, if you watched your general or daily today, you know this card came out for you in your actual tarot reading, but also in your um, oracle, your blessings, this card in particular. Okay, so it says happiness and well-being, sun card. All right, I'm hearing Shauna, Shannon, Scheffler, and Fowler. All right, on the bottom of the deck with the blessings is the key, successful outcome to any pro problem. You will find the solution that you are seeking. And I just heard Kay Keaton, Keaton. All right, what we're gonna do, Spirit wants you to give you a month. There's something coming up here in the months. I think somebody out there is asking a specific question about What's going to happen in this month? Will this happen in this month? I, I think you're expecting a miracle, possibly a child. The month of May. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that's got purple in it. And I was looking at the miracle card here, the hummingbirds, something being brought to you by a bird. Storks bring babies, okay? And that is the month of May that came here. We are in the last few days. Okay, so it may be May of next year. <sighs> let something just flow, okay? Let it flow. This is stronger than you think it is. It is a lot firmer than you think. All right, let's see what this, uh, why these cards are out here. Career. So somebody's asking a question about their career. May could have something to do with it. All right. Let's go ahead and get you your letter dice, and then we will close this message out. We have Renee, Richard, Raquel, Raphael, Jerry, Gary, Georgia, Fong, Iron, I'm hearing Iron Maiden, Rex, Drexler, Felix, Gable, Paul, Pablo, Perry, Parquet, Path is coming out again. I don't know if that's the sewing machine or if somebody's last name is Path. Um... Some people say puff but it's puff I can't say it properly either. Epi, Egan, Ian, Aaron, Farrell, Ferrelli, Utah, Tuna, Tunisia, Keith, Katie, Callisto, Saki, Suki, Lisa, Mallory, Malor, Malord, 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 I can't say it the way they're saying it, Tori, Carrie, Lex, Plaka, Plaka, Poland, Prose, someone made a promise, Lee, L-E-E, L-E-I-G-H, May, Mapley, Marley, West Virginia, Stu, Stephen, Strucker, Stewart, Townsend, Cowell, Kelly, 
Yuri Purina Paisley Faye Sophia Settle Secular Rita Rick Ricky Paxton Parkinson Parker Europe Return Return Venus Volume Volpe Vogue Average Augie Fauna Felicity Lara Okay, that's what I've got for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, tickle tap, booper zap, claim this in the comments. If you're interested in making a donation to the channel, which would be greatly appreciated, that information is down below. You can do it through a super chat or any of the other ways. Until our energy crosses again, I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Take care, my loves. Bye-bye.